very closely connected with that in the same chapter of Exodus 23 verse 32 Exodus 23 32 we come to another related problem you shall make no covenant with them nor with their gods it is possible for people to enter into some kind of a covenant with people who have false gods and if they would do that you become involved in the guilt of those people and their false gods now this may seem remote and abstract to you but I'm going to specify one particular common case some of you may be offended but I say this in love because I know it to be true there is a very common covenant group a secret society that prevails throughout the English speaking world which is Freemasonry and if you are involved in Freemasonry you are under a curse not only you but your family and your descendants and I speak this from experience Ruth and I have encountered this we've dealt with it we've come to the root of it Freemasonry is a false religious system whatever you may say it's not a secret that's bluff the main ceremonies of Freemasonry are known and have been published by people who are not Freemasons to take simply one example the Royal Arch degree acknowledges a god name is Ja Bull On J A B U L O N Ja is short for Jehovah Bull is short for Baal and On is short for Osiris and any system of worship that combines the true god with Baal and Osiris is abomination in the sight of the Lord no matter who practices it even if it be an Anglican bishop or the Archbishop of Canterbury who previously was a Freemason not the present one it makes no difference God is no respecter of persons we have seen the most terrible consequences in lives and families because of this curse I'll give you one brief dramatic example in Australia when we were last there we had a healing service one morning and one of the people who came forward was a young woman who'd obviously been in the subculture but had apparently just come out of it and she had what appeared to be a little newborn baby in her arms and, she, and we said what do you need prayer for she said my baby it looked about six days old she told us it was six weeks old we said what's the problem she said it just won't take any nourishment I can't get it to take more than a spoonful of milk so Ruth and I laid hands on the woman as she was holding the baby in her arms the power of God came on her and she went down on the floor and Ruth caught the baby out of her arms and held it and then God gave Ruth a word of knowledge she said the girl's father is a Freemason and the people who were ministering to the girl on the floor came against that spirit of Freemasonry and it came out with a loud prolonged shriek but the dramatic thing was exactly the same shriek came out of the baby in Ruth's arms at the same time six hours later the girl came back in the evening service with the little baby and she said I just want to tell you between the morning and the evening she's taken three full bottles thank God for that but that little child would never have been healed if the curse of Freemasonry had not first been broken now if there are any here tonight who are involved in Freemasonry either directly yourself or through your husband or father or some other relative I want to lead you in a prayer of renunciation there may be other similar cults secret societies 
satanic organizations. There are many of them in the world today. If you are involved in any of those things, I want to ask you now in the name of the Lord Jesus to renounce them. Could we please be quiet? Settle down. Thank you. Now, I'm not going to embarrass anybody individually. I'm just going to say a prayer. If you need to say it, you say it to God in your heart, all right? You say these words, Lord Jesus Christ, I want to serve you and to love you. If there is in my life or in my family the curse of Freemasonry or any other cult, I ask you to release me and forgive me and break its power over me right now in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. We're getting near the end.